Today's video is all about linkages and how two bar lifts work. I'm Mr. Pratt and I've been teaching robotics for over 10 years now. And today we're talking all about the concepts of what a two bar lift is, why you might want to use it to lift things up on the ground, some pros of using a two bar lift, and some drawbacks, but as well as some ways you might go about in mitigating that. So let's take a look at my two, two bar lift here. I have a simple servo that's on a 20 tooth gear to 100 tooth gear. This is a speed servo from GoBuilda, so it is going to put out not as much torque, but that's why I've got a pretty heavy gear reduction so it can get a little speed. This axle crosses through to the other side where I am connected to a 16 tooth sprocket, traveling up through a chain drive to another 16 tooth sprocket where I travel through my axle that eventually gets down to my arm. Uh, this is called a two bar lift because we have a simple arm here and a simple arm here to make two bars of your arm. And when I drive this, I can have it come up and come down as a very simple lifting mechanism. Why you might want to use a simple two bar lift, well one, it's super fast to get it up and going. Uh, all you need is a simple motor, you can even use a DC motor here. In fact, if you want to go a little bit faster, I'd recommend you, you probably do use a DC motor, it's going to be a little bit reliable. But you can see that a servo is actually pretty quick for getting this up and going. Uh, another reason why this is beneficial is you've got a lot of this transfer of uh, force here. So you can extend something really, really far. So right now I can actually get this up quite high to be able to reach up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can actually get pretty darn high up off the floor just with a simple arm here. Uh, and that's what this force transfer does. If I were to take this arm and slap it right onto the servo, I wouldn't be able to get near as high. In fact, I'd lose quite a bit of my height. So using that force transfer allows me to get a little bit further. Another option is if I were to take a simple claw here, again, nothing fancy on this claw, but if I were to mount it on this side and as I go up, it is going to be non-parallel to the floor. So as this thing rotates, you'll notice that my claw is also gonna rotate. So if you need to place something on an angled piece, actually using a two bar lift might be pretty useful. However, if I wanted my final placement to be at the same angle as this arm, I might consider throwing a second bar down here in order to make this a four bar lift instead of a two bar lift. So I hope you found that helpful as a basic explanation of what a two bar lift is and why you might want to use one of those in your robot. So best of luck on your next build challenge.